Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this hairstyle is inspired by Dulce Candy 87 She did a hairstyle tutorial about two weeks ago on a mullet or mullet slash mohawks hairstyle that I wanted to reproduce because I really liked it. Now I'm just going to show my version that I tweeted a little bit because there are certain things she does to her hair that I'm not going to do to mine. For example, um, she used heat with um, mousse, hair mousse, and hairspray. I'm not going to use heat, I'm not going to use mousse, and I'm not going to use hairspray. And also she teased her hair and I'm not going to tease mine. So I'm just going to show you guys my version of trying to get the same hairstyle. Okay, real quick, what you're going to need is a brush, just a regular hairbrush to smooth down the sides and your edges, a regular comb, ouchless comb, oh this is a Conair comb, I'm sorry, two rollers with the clips To smooth down my edges, I am going to use my Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Smooth and Hold Pudding. For the shine, I am using my Heat Protectant Straight, but it also says at the bottom, Straight and Shine and Protects Your Hair. And this is from IC. I am, you're going to need a couple of bobby pins. A headband, either you're gonna you can use the rubber band or the ouchless band, and homemade shea butter. Now you can replace your homemade shea butter with any thick moisturizing hair lotion. So now in order to get this hairstyle, your hair has to be somewhat straight. So since I didn't want to apply heat or flat iron my hair, I just did the saran wrap method. I wrapped my hair, I put the saran wrap over it, and I, I didn't sit under the dryer, I just let it sit for a couple, of, a couple of hours. Now to get started, you're just going to take the wrap apart. To start off, I am just going to take, okay, I'm going to look down here a little bit. I look like a wild woman right now, right? <laughs> I'm just going to look down here a little bit because that's where my mirror is, okay? I am going to just take a little section up front. You want to take enough in order that it can cover the whole section. Now you're just going to take this section and put it aside. So you can just take a bobby pin or a clip. I'm using these big bobby pins and I'm just going to take the hair out the way. Now in her video she takes the two section over here and she teases her hair to give it that you know hump look. Now. I'm not going to tease my hair. What I am going to do is I'm just going to cut out a little section right here. It's about the same size of the section that you cut up up front. Okay. I am going to separate it into two. just like this. So now you see I have two section in the back. Now I am going to, sorry I just have hair everywhere. 
detangle this section the best that I can just like that now I am going to take my smooth and hold smooth and hold pudding take about this much and now I am just going to apply that just to the bottom section of my hair now you guys will understand afterwards why I'll take my brush and just gently very gently brush the product into your hair in both sides now you don't have to put it the whole length of your hair so you just want to brush the product in just like that now you're going to take the roller and just roll your hair into As you guys can tell, I put just a little too much product over here, but it's okay because once it dries, it dries clear, so. Okay, now for the two front section. Now you're just going to let that sit and dry. Now you have the option. If you don't mind putting heat to your hair, if you don't mind putting heat on your hair, you can just take the blow dryer and blow the section out until the um, pudding, you know, dries completely. If not, you could just let it air dry like I'm about to do and wait until it just dries on its own. Now, for the two section on the side, I am going to use a little bit of my smooth and hold and a little bit of my shea butter. That's what I usually use to smooth down, smooth down my edges. Now, if you use like, you know, olive oil, olive oil gel or some type of um, holding gel, you can just use that. But since I don't, I'm just going to take just a, a tiny bit, not much, of my shea butter and just a dab of the smooth and hold. I mix it together, just warm it up in my hand, and I just apply it right here. Okay, now you're just gonna take like a very small section, about this size. You wanna smooth it. just like that. Now the hair in the back, you could just leave it hanging. Same thing for the other side. Now basically you're just going to use these two section to hold down the back section right here. Just like that. You can use a ouchless, ouchless band or you can just use a small oh, rubber band. I am going to use the ouchless band. Okay, now I'm just going to wait until these two rollers dry, since I'm air drying it, and I'll come back and show you guys the rest. As you guys know, my hair is somewhat okay dry. Now the reason why I did this is because the fact that on Dulce's, Dulce Candy, her hair, she leaves it, she tees it in order to get that hump. 
I'm not going to tease my hair, but what I am going to do is leave it in that roll. Putting and letting it dry, it kind of stays, you know, in that rollers mode. So I took the roller off. I'm just going to take a bobby pin and just pin it so it can just stay in this mode. take this section right here now this section this is where I'm going to use my icy heat protectant just for the shine in the front section so I'm just going to take just a couple of drops just like that and I just want to put it in this front section right over here just to give it that shine Now you just want to take this section and just comb it back. Now be careful not to be careful not to comb inside those rollers that you put. For the side section, you're just going to take some bobby pins and just pin it to the side. And right here, basically, you work with it as much as you can. There you go you're done so you see you're able to get that hump without having to like you know that teasing that you know some people do or you know if you don't have those there's a thing they used to sell that you could just put on top of your hair and just push it over so you can achieve that same look without so now if you want also you can just take this section and have it up in a ponytail just like that that looks cute too. Okay guys, well, that's it. That is the look. I really love it. I think I'm going to rock this for New Year's. This looks nice. Hot, sexy. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Oh, this thing is such a pain to open. Wait a minute. Now I feel, I understand what. Oh. Okay.